I'm Dr. Capassi. And I'm Dr. Alarita. And today we're going to show you how to take a vision. Now we're going to discuss uh, the basic visual acuity exam, which is a fundamental skill that any clinician should have, whether you're in the emergency room or in the eye care center. So first you want to make sure the patient's sitting comfortably in the chair and facing the screen behind me. Then what you want to do is you want to pick up this remote here, okay? Every remote can be different depending on what type of equipment you're using. Keep in mind that different centers will have different equipment and different machines, so you have to adapt to different technology. So today we'll discuss this system here. So when you look at this remote, I'd like to draw your attention to this button here. So to start uh, with your visual acuity exam, what you want to do is you want to push this here. Once you push the power on off button, you'll see the screen will turn on. There'll be a large E. That's the basic uh, setting um, when the machine will turn on. Then, I could, if I could draw your attention onto the right side here, what you'll see are different levels of visual acuity, okay? So what you'll see is you'll see a 2020, 2035 line, right here, number five, all the way up to a 2400. These are, these are the basic ones you want to use. This is the range here. So what you want to do is then push this button here, number five, and that will bring you to the 2020, 2015, 2035 line, okay? Once you're there, what you want to do is basically take a look at the screen here and you'll see the three different levels. So what you can do is you get this arrow, the purple uh, up and down arrows, saying VA, visual cue, you can actually push that there, up and down, and what that will do is it will highlight a different area on the screen. That white bar is the actual bar that corresponds to the letters being shown on the screen. Okay, so you can single out a single line of letters here, a different visual acuity, for example, 2025 here. Okay, so one technique that you can use to test visual acuity is you want to start at the 2020 line and then actually move upwards, and you move upwards by two levels, okay, until the patient can, uh, you know, see the letters accordingly. Now, if I can draw your attention to the big screen here, I'm just going to show you what it looks like on the big screen here. So again, we're going to point it towards there. And we're going to single it out. You can see one line here, okay? Next, we're going to go into how to uh, test the patient and set up the patient for the visual acuity exam. Now, if I can draw your attention to the larger screen, what you'll see is uh, these large uh, letters at the 2200 level here. And as I push the arrows on the remote, purple arrow down, you see that the letters are getting smaller as I'm going down towards the 2080 level. This machine is set for the right contrast for the room lighting and for the patient's uh, distance away. Keep in mind the distance should be 6 meters, and if it's not 6 meters from the patient's uh, eyes to the machine screen, then it should be uh, adjusted accordingly. So now we're going to show how visual acuity can be uh, tested on a real life patient here, okay? So I'm going to start by having the E on the big screen here. I'm going to ask my uh, colleague here to read the screen and that. Uh, you know what they see in the back. I can't see that. So, the one pitfall here is that he was using both his eyes to read the screen. This is a no-no in testing visual acuity. You must use one eye at a time. So I'm going to take the occluder here, this black occluder. I'm going to have him hold it in your left hand, please. And now I'll try reading it. Should I cover my eye? Yes, please cover your eye with the occluder. I can't see that at all. You can't see that? No. Second pitfall here. You want to make sure to ask the uh, patient if they wear corrective lenses or not. Do you wear corrective uh, glasses? Yeah, I have my spectacles right here. Oh, really? Then please put them on. Now cover your left eye for me. By convention, usually we start by testing the patient's right eye. So I have them cover their left eye with the occluder. Can you please read the letter for me on the screen? That's an E. Excellent. Now I'm going to have the patient read the 2020 line. So you please cover your left eye, the occluder there. Can you please read what you see on the screen? I can't read that. So the patient cannot see the letters on the screen. So my next step is to move up two levels to the 2040 line. So I'll push the buttons here until I have the 2040 line highlighted on my remote. And then I'll ask the patient again, very kindly, if they can read the 2040 line. Can you read the 2040? R-H-K-S-D. Okay, excellent. So he correctly read the letters on the 2040 line. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move down one level and see if you can read the level just below the 2040 line. Because before, as we discussed, we used a staircase approach and we went up two lines from 2020 to 2040. So I'm going to move down one level and ask the patient, can you please read that line for me? I can't see that at all. You can't make out any letters at all? Can you try? Uh, R, P, and I can't. 
can't see the rest. So he incorrectly uh, read the letters. The letters were wrong, okay? So we'll have to basically try another technique. Our next uh, basically tool that we have in our ophthalmic toolbox is this special device called basically a pinhole, okay? So what I'm going to have him do is I'm going to have him hold this over his eye that he's reading from and look at the letters again, okay? Excuse me, sir, can you please hold this over your right eye and look through the tiny hole in the middle while you still cover this eye, please? That's correct. Now try to read the line for me, please. K-O-R-D-H. Perfect. So he correctly read the line. And that's the accurate way of testing visual acuity. Now I'm going to show you how to record a vision on a standard exam chart here. So for visual acuity, we start by drawing a large V here. And then what you want to do by convention is you want to write either SC on top of the V or CC. SC stands for without corrective lenses or glasses and CC is with corrective lenses. So depending on how you did your uh, visual acuity exam. Now to the bottom of the V, sometimes you see an NC. And this is for if you use a near card for reading, which I'll discuss a little bit later in this video. Now to the right of the V, what you want to do is you want to write in these two areas here. By convention, the right eye is always recorded on top and the left eye on the bottom. So let's say you did your visual acuity exam and the patient was able to read up to the 20-40 line. What you're going to write is 20-40, okay, for the right eye. Now, let's say that the patient is only able to read three letters on that line and missed two letters. What you're actually going to write is 20-40 minus two, okay? That means that they missed two letters on that line. Now let's say they were able to read the entire 2040 line which consists of five letters but they could also read two letters on the next line below it, the smaller line which is the 2030 line. What you're going to do is write 2040 plus two. Okay? So that's by convention how you would describe that. Now keep in mind that they have to score at least half of the letters on that line to be able to be recorded at that line, okay? Which again would be three out of five letters. Now, when you're testing for pinhole tests, what you want to do is write an arrow here and write pinhole, okay? P-H. And what we do is we write another arrow here and we record what the vision was pinhole. So in this case, the patient was able to see 20, 20, okay? Then you want to do the same for the left eye here. So the patient saw 20, 20, left eye. And that's your exam. Okay, let's say now you're in a setting where you don't have a standard eye chart, okay? And you want to get an approximation of their vision. What you're going to use is this handy dandy card here, okay? This is a near vision card. And what you're going to have the patient do is cover one of their eyes, again, and actually read the numbers, okay? Starting from the top line downwards, and you're going to record what level they can read down to, okay? Now let's say you don't have one of these eye charts. Well, there's no excuse not to test vision. What you're going to do then is you're going to take out your mobile device, in this case an Android, and there's actually apps that have been devised with an eye chart for the patient to be able to uh, basically uh, use this to check their near vision, okay? And we also have the same app uh, located on the iPhone as well, okay? So there really is no excuse to test uh, for a good vision. Now I'm going to summarize what we learned today, okay? So to do a proper visual acuity, some of the key steps that you need is number one, you have to have the proper equipment, okay? Whether it's an uh, eye chart on the wall or electronic eye chart, even uh, a near card that you have in your pocket, or if not, there's always uh, an app either on your Android or your iPhone um, that you can use to test visual acuity, okay? Step two, you want to make sure that the patient is positioned correctly in the chair, okay? and make sure that they're wearing the corrective glasses, that they do have a pair of corrective glasses, so that you can get the proper visual acuity, okay? Step three, you want to have the patient occlude their eye, okay, using an occluder, or if they don't have an occluder, they can even just use their hand, okay? By convention, usually we cover the left eye first, have the patient read through the right eye, okay? You want to keep track of what line they can read up to. And this is very important, okay? At the same time, what you want to do is make sure that you have the pinhole ready. So if they're not able to read that line, you can give them the pinhole, and they can look through the pinhole, and then again, you want to record what level they read at. Now, if you don't have a pinhole, you can always just use a tissue, and just poke a hole through the tissue, wherever you are, there's no excuse, you can use this to basically get a pinhole vision, okay? Step four is you want to make sure that you record the visual acuity correctly. So again, some of the key things that we went through before, make sure that you write 
the right eye annotation on top of the left eye, and you want to put a pH for the pinhole vision, okay? If you follow all these steps accordingly, then you'll be able to take a proper visual acuity, okay? And keep in mind that this is basically an essential skill that every doctor needs to have. Thank you.